Hi, I'm Carol Wilson, editor at large for Light Reading. I'm here with Nan Chen, the president of MEF, and also you were the founder, one of the founders of MEF, correct? That's correct, yeah. All right, so I have to ask you this. Um, I've seen a lot of forums come and go over my yeah. time. MEF seems to be different. What's given MEF its staying power? I think at the very beginning, uh, when the MEF first started, if you remember, was uh, more about that carrier Ethernet. Um, at that time, if you remember, it have people driving Ethernet in so many different ways and mm -hmm. define Ethernet in so many different ways, especially from a carrier perspective. And you have Ethernet for Sonnet, Ethernet of NPLS, right. pure Ethernet, and uh, the form like a lot of uh, uncertainty. So I think one of the major things we've done is we said, okay, let's just define the service, service definition and attributes. Forget the transport. Mm -hmm. You can do that uh, through MPLS, uh, SANA SDH, or even supersonic pigeon, whatever it is. Right. But you so long deliver the services will be good. That was a, the, the key to reunite the okay. entire everybody together. Okay. And fast forward to today, you know, let's say two years ago, when we actually see the, the requirement for orchestration. So we really started the momentum and you know, we defined the lifecycle service orchestration. And what we really did was a, a basically hit the you know, uh, uh, nail right on the head, the fact that that's one layer mm -hmm. is, a, is completely missing you know, from all the deployment. So orchestration becoming a really an important thing. You know, we lead the industry to do that, and that's where we draw the people back in in terms of uh, interesting momentums. And, and I, as you know, some of the um, uh, letter ballad, mm -hmm. uh, or actually before, even before letter ballad, we draw comments like 800 some comments, just in the interest of, of things that are into the specs that we're doing. Okay. In addition, we really transform our, ourselves, not only doing just physical spec, but also right. doing a software, software uh, uh, development kit, really helping the industry to accelerate adoption okay. of the things we do. I okay. think that's a, that's a key. Okay, you've also from the beginning also been part of this whole certification process. I'm not sure other forums do that. That's right. Why, what role has that played? A huge. Uh, that role is uh, a huge it's just because in order to be part of the certification committee, that's need to be part of the organization mm -hmm. of MEP. I think that drives a lot of uh, sustainability in terms of the people uh, involved in this. And one of the key things we also did, I thought it was revolutionary, it was the the fact that we not only certify the equipment, which actually at the time when we started certification, a lot of forums do certification to mm -hmm. a certain degree. to to equipment, but we actually certify service provider services. Right. Not just the specification in terms of whether they meeting, deliver these parameters, but actually the performance. That's actually huge. And you know, a service provider like at t Verizon, they don't necessarily need <laughs> someone like MAP to do it. But once that, once they bought into the concept, this is actually need to be done, and it's really good for the industry, good for their business, and good for the industry, and the momentum start building, and then that once you have uh, large service providers in each of the graphic regions that start get certified, and you know other people just jump in. Okay, so in MEF 3.0, you broadened your reach. You went into the IP layer, the optical layer. You're developing um, specs for services like SD WAN. Yes. Um, and and so the, the focus is still on services, though, right? That's right. Okay. Yeah. Basically. We really feel that service is a differentiator for us. And okay. you know, there's so many SDOs out there define so many technical specs, uh -huh. but we focus on revenue. You okay. know, that's at revenue generating services. Okay. I think we do uh, two aspects of about the services. One is the service self definition, mm -hmm. and the second is how do we automate, accelerate that service deployment? Okay. That's automation, that's LSO came in. And then if you think of the reason why also MEF has been successful is that you see, see the, uh, the industry lead, leaders start joining MEF. You mm -hmm. know, for example, on the board, you, you see the right. Roman from Roman, AT&T, right. you see Amir, Amir right. you know, you see uh, uh, folks from Fred Food, right. exactly. Okay. Just yeah. so many people, if you actually check their uh, association or the leadership position within their organization, that's actually driving the P&L. That's actually really important for, for them. The service is actually, obviously, the king it is the revenue. Okay, so last question. Um, for 2019, uh, w w what's going to be hot at, at the show next year? Ah, okay. I mean, to be crystal ball. Okay, so I think it's uh, 2019, we're going to really demonstrate, we're going to really demonstrate 
the not only just the Sonata, mm -hmm. uh, but also we get have more use cases now, okay. like a trouble trouble trouble, trouble ticketing, you know, okay. and, and, and then a few. But also we're going to do the interlude, you know, in terms of a okay. connection. Uh, in addition, I I actually do believe that we're going to have a pretty significant. Uh, certified service providers in terms of services that you know MEF 3.0. Okay. Um, what, what that really does is create that what I call it not only transform the business of the industry but also federate a lot of okay. the services okay. providers together to be able to deliver service end to end. And then you're gonna see you know quite a bit of demonstration of that. That would be my prediction. Okay. I would love to see that and and to be a really successful uh, MEF 19. Okay, great. Nan, thanks for being here. Absolutely. Right, Always care. my pleasure. All right, take care. Thank you.